hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time you already know please hit the like it really helps and please subscribe thank you so much so diddy has been laying low after laying low in florida for the past several weeks diddy is now in la diddy was seen dressed in all black jumpsuit while chatting it up with a male on the sidewalk there's another video of him Walking to a woman during the same outing and they were having a friendly conversation it seems. They even hugged and everything. It is unclear who the woman was. Probably a groupie, I don't know. But I know that did the news. Howard University announced Friday its board of trustees is revoking Diddy's honorary degree. This is a result of the recent release of a video showing Diddy's 2016 assault on his then-girlfriend inside an L.A. hotel. Diddy got his honorary degree from Howard in 2014, but now the university says they found his behavior so fundamentally incompatible with Howard University's core values and believes that he is deemed no longer worthy to hold the institution's highest honor. Diddy was a student at Howard from 1987 to 1989. He did not graduate. Howard also says the university is scrubbing Diddy's name from all documents listing from among Howard's honorary degree recipients. Not just that, but the school is disbanding a scholarship program in his name as well. Not to mention returning a $1 million contribution from him and terminating a 2023 pledge agreement with his foundation. See, the thing is, Diddy never paid him that $1 million that he pledged. So I don't know what they're returning. Maybe he paid a little bit. He probably paid a little bit of it, but he did not pay that $1 million to Howard University. A statement mentioned hotel video obtained by CNN that shows Diddy kicking and dragging his ex Cassie in 2016. This acceptance revokes all honors and privileges associated with the degree. Accordingly, the board has directed that his name be removed from all documents listing honorary degree recipients of Howard University. Mr. Combs' behavior, as captured in a recently released video, is so fundamentally incompatible with Howard University's core values and beliefs that he is deemed no longer worthy to hold the institution's highest honor. The university is unwavering in its opposition and to all acts of interpersonal violence. That's what Howard University had to say, but I don't understand why they keep giving these celebs degrees that they did not earn, they don't deserve. I don't get it. Maybe it's just the money. It's sad, but let's keep it moving. Ken Porter's dad is disgusted with Diddy over vicious Cassie attack. Ken Porter's father is stepping forward to say he felt sickened when he saw Sean Diddy Combs shove kick, stomp, and drag former partner Cassandra Cassie Ventura in a brutal beating captured on recently hotel surveillance video. Speaking by phone on Friday, Jake Porter says the shocking video obtained by CNN left him with a nagging concern over what his daughter may have experienced during her time with the music mogul before she died of pneumonia in 2018 you can say i was disgusted with the video and i wouldn't treat my enemy like that it was despicable i couldn't believe it i was in vietnam and i wouldn't do that to my enemy ask if he ever witnessed diddy physically abuse his own daughter in a similar way Porter says no, he never saw anything to that extent, but it made me wonder. He recalls living with or near his daughter during a different periods of her relationship with Combs, dating back to the 90s, and says the horrible video gives him a different outlook on Combs. I don't know he could stoop that low. 
reporter says, I imagine it surprised a lot of people. I wouldn't even do a dog like that. My heart goes out to Cassie. Now, listen, let's be honest. The daddy is not telling the truth. The daddy knew about the abuse. If everybody else knew about the abuse, the dad knew about the abuse. He doesn't want to admit it because now it's going to look bad on him. How come you didn't protect your daughter? How come you didn't intervene? That's why he's saying he did not know. There's no way you wouldn't know because people knew about the broken nose. It it came out in the in the um in the media. So how would you not know? And you live nearby or you live with her? No. See, they all lying. They all lying about not knowing, and it pisses me off. But let's keep going. Porter declined to answer many questions, but says his daughter Kim, who gave birth to a son, Wet Diddy, in 1998, and twin daughters in 2006, genuinely love Diddy. Still, she just could not live with Diddy in the same house. See, he knew. He knew. I think he was a very jealous person. They both loved each other. Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. Kim's love was legitimate. Puffy's love, I don't know what he calls love. You know what I mean? I really don't think he has any idea what love is. Moving forward, Porter says, my concern is the children. So how do you say they both love each other? Then you say he doesn't know what love is. He doesn't know any idea of what love is. Exactly. He, does, he did not love anyone. Not your daughter, not Cassie, not Nisa, none of these women, Mary J. Blige, Naomi Campbell. He does not love anyone. Not even Jennifer Lopez, not Cameron Diaz, all these people he dealt with, he never loved them. He does not know what love is. So for the father to lie in this interview saying, oh, he is so shocked, he did not know. That's a whole freaking lie. He knew, okay? If we knew, the we are the public and we knew, oh, and then you live with her and you, like, on the inside, you knew more than, come on. You knew, just say she was a grown woman and you did not want to interfere with her business. But do not lie. Do not lie and say, oh, I didn't know. You knew. And I'm sure she told you a lot of things. I'm sure she talked to you because she was a daddy's girl. I'm sure she talked to you about things because, you know, how her nose broke, how he broke her nose, how she stabbed him in the hand so he, don't, so he could stop hitting her. You knew, okay, Dad? You knew. So cut the BS, Dad, okay? They all need to stop lying. Just say you did not help and you wish you did. But don't act all, oh, oh, I'm so shocked. Oh, my God. I didn't think he could stoop so low. Yeah, right. But anyways, so there's a cop accusing Diddy of ordering Tupac Shakur and Shug Knight's hit back in 1995. And he has proof. This is crazy. He ordered, Diddy ordered a one million hit on Tupac and Shug Knight. An ex-detective alleges. You guys, man, I, it's just too much. I'm not even going to even, I'm not even going. Oh my God, this is too much. Let me end this video right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a video on this, uh, this new story. You guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.